Rob, Joe Girardi is talking about improvement in your defense. I want to ask you, how does it feel to hear the manager talk about that improvement in your defense? And also, how do you feel that you've improved defensively at second? Well, it's, uh, you know, obviously it's very flattering. You know, um, you know Joe's uh, so well-respected. And, um, it's, you know, it, it's, it's cool to have him, you know, talk about my game and stuff like that. It's, it's, it's obviously very humbling. But, um, you know, it, it's, it's cool because you know, I've, I've put in a lot of work, a lot of dedication and, and you know, time into my defense. And, um, you know, it feels good to, you know, get some recognition for it. And, um, you know, for me, I think defensively, offensively, all parts of my game, I think it's always going to be, you know, um, a grind to get better because this game's so hard. So, um, you know, defense is part of my game, and, um, you know, I'm just – every day it's just trying to get a little bit better at, uh, you know, all facets of my game. I was talking to Steve Sachs about a week ago, former Major League second baseman, and he said that one of the toughest things for someone to learn when they're transitioning to second base is that blindside double play. You have a runner bearing down on you while you're waiting to get that ball from the left side of the infield. How difficult has that part of the transition been? I mean, you hear about the transition, you know, college middle infielders have to make. Um, obviously, people aren't familiar. You know, in college, the, the runner has to slide right into the back. Um, and there's a transition for them, let alone, you know, a transition from a, you know, a college outfielder coming down to Villa Diamond. So, it, obviously, you know, when, when I go to slide into second base, I'm trying to break up the double play. I'm trying to go as hard as possible and, um, into the bag and uh, try to disrupt the throw. So, it was, um, you know, my first year in Tampa, um, you know, it was a transition, you know, getting used to that. And, you know, every, you know, slide I get more comfortable with it and, uh, you know, it's a, it's a great, you know, playing baseball, and, um, yeah, it's definitely something I'm getting used to. You hit over 300 combined at AA and AAA last year. You showed some power. What clicked for you? What were the things that worked for you at the plate? Um, man, uh, I, think, I think working with Marcus another year, um, Marcus, you know, and I have a great relationship. Um, you know, it's, it's awesome having a coach in your corner and, uh, you know, a coach who, um, you know, wants you to uh, succeed. And, you know, Marcus and I did a major swing overhaul, and I, I think that's kind of what helped me last year, you know, hit for more power. I looked at my spray chart at the end of the year. I was in, you know, a lot more balls, the left center gap. And uh, I think to be successful in baseball, you have to, you know, know how to hit the inside pitch and, you know, be able to, you know, hit the hit the ball correctly, and I wasn't able to do that consistently uh, my first you know year in, in professional baseball. So, um, you know, um, it's it's really humbling uh, having people talk about you and, and your part of the game. Um, but you know, I last last year at this time, I don't think anybody really um, you know thought of me more than you know um, you know a marginal prospect or something like that. So it, it's a lot of hard work, and I can't thank people like Marcus, you know, enough. And by the way, you're referring to Marcus Timms, who is the hitting coach at Double A Trenton. When you talk to people like Timms or other people who have played at the major league level, what are they telling you you still need to work on, and what is that big adjustment? What's left for you to do so that you can get to the major leagues and be there every every day? Well, this game is, is so hard, and um, I don't think I'll ever really – um, no, until I get there and kind of experience the game firsthand because, you know, um, people talk about adjustments from, you know, high A to double A to triple A and, um, you know, you just, you just don't know until you're, you're, you're playing games and you're experiencing the competition. So, honestly, I think, you know, the scouting reports are a lot more complex. Um, you know, a lot of people have advanced scouting, watching every series and things like that, knowing, you know, what, what your strengths and weaknesses are and what, what you're doing well at the time. So um, I think to be successful in baseball, you always got to adjust and kind of, you know, adjust on the fly. And But um, I think everyone has been, you know, nice enough to say, just, you know, keep working hard and um, you'll figure it out. And, you know, I think Marcus and I with the swing adjustment and then with, you know, uh, Carlos Mendoza, our infield coordinator, Jody Reed last year, Luis Soho, who's, who's coached me a couple of years. Um, you know, they, they give me tips daily on how to be more, you know, efficient at second base and, and you know, cut down, um, you know, the time needed. Because I think a lot, all the second basemen in, in the big leagues have, have gotten a lot more reps, a lot more, 
you know, experience. And I'm just trying to cut the window down of, you know, reps and stuff that I missed out on because I played outfield every day. So it's it's been quite a journey. <laughs> Rob, in this day and age, anyone who wants to find video of you can. We're showing some of it right now. People who are those minor league gurus, they've seen you play and they know what you're about. But for the Yankee fan who hasn't seen you play, stop being Rob Ref Snyder, the player for a moment, and be a scout. How would you scout yourself? What are the things that you do well on the field that help make you stand out? Uh, um, I'm not smart enough to evaluate myself. So I'll let you know all those, you know, minor league gurus kind of do their job, but, you know, I just try to, try to, you know, take as much, you know, um, coaching as possible because, you know, obviously the, the Yankees have a, you know, a plethora of coaches that, that played in professional baseball in the big league. So, you know, any advice they give me, you know, I, I try to, you know, practice and, um, you know, but I, I, I try to play the game the right way. I, I, uh, you know, grew up playing baseball and, Went to University of Arizona under Coach Lopez, and I think you know he did a good job, kind of teaching a lot of us how to play the game the right way. And it's you know supposed to be played hard and um, for, for the entertainment of the fans and and uh, you know respect to your teammates. So that's kind of how I try to play the game. And you know there's there's obviously a lot of people talking about people's games and stuff like that. But at the end of the day, I'd, I think the most important thing is you know for people to go out and play and succeed and win and. I think, you know, all the scouting stuff, they can, um, you know, it, it doesn't really mean anything at the end of the day. I think just winning is the most important thing.